this is the glass case for the crystal brush entries. Let's see what we got. We got some interesting looking stuff here. Let's see if we can get in on it. We got a knight doing something to something. And some Nurgle dudes. I like this Nurgle dude. He's kind of cool looking. And a Nurgle dude with a hat. Check him out. That's a nice bowler hat. Okay, we've got some Imperial dogs here for some reason. And uh, other minis of some kind. Random chick with boob. Okay, we got a guy made of barrels. And, uh, oh, I actually know the guy that did this one. He is in the room down below me. That's Sinjin's model right there. It's like he moved his dude. It was in a different place before. What else we got here? Oh, look at the diorama. I'm not sure what game this is. Any idea what this game is? Uh, Privateer Press. What, War Machine? Okay, so this is a War Machine thing. Okay. Oh, yeah, there's Montenegro. Okay, I understand now. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Oh, we got a Centurion doing stuff. He's doing some stuff, definitely. What else we got here? Got some more guys doing some stuff. I guess this is another Nurgle dude. Kind of looks Nurgly. I'm a fan. <laughs> yes, I used a noun as an adjective. That's fine. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Oh, Angron, the Red Angel. Big Daddy. That's a, that's a gorgeous model right yeah, there. That is awesome. Oh wow, what the heck happened here? That's got to be a fantasy model of some kind. Oh man, I don't, I'm not sure what to say about that. Yeah, I was going to say, it's, uh, it's kind of, wow. Well, you can see that from space. My gosh, that is way too bright. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, what? What happened here? Sculpted category. Oh, okay. There's not. I was like, there's no paint. <laughs> okay, so someone made this model. Okay, okay. There we go. Okay, we got a uh, dwarf picking something out of his beard, and a guy doing some stuff. We're just gonna go slowly down the line here, so you guys can see it. And another dude doing some stuff. And here's a group of dudes. Okay, and I guess this is obviously in the historic model category right here that we've got. Let's go down here. Okay, some kind of famous space marine. And a dude with a gun. Okay, we've got a, some, kind of, some kind of stag. What are you? I don't even know what that is. Oh, look at this guy. Now, there's been a lot of buzz about this model, guys. I have no idea what company made it, but it is amazing. Look at the detail on the face. The face is amazing. It looks like a person! Let's see if we can get a better shot of his side here. Look at that. He's got some amazing detail on the cloak here. Man. I, I'm going to go ahead and go out on a limb and say this is probably the shoe-in for the individual model category. Look at the base. There's so much stuff going on. That is an amazing model. Look at the plasma gun on this guy. I feel like he's actually about to shoot my camera. No picks! Alright. Wow, he's got an oath of moment. Two oath of moments right there. Okay. Wow. I wish we could get in there and get all the way around the model, guys, but they're in a protective case. So leave a comment. What do you think? Okay, now we got some kind of tiger dude. He kind of looks cool. He's got a bow. And uh, this guy, he's obviously angry. Yep, this guy looks like he's also not happy. And we got some chick hanging out with a dead robot. I'm guessing Privateer Press. <laughs> oh, look at this guy. He is also awesome. Lots of guts spilling out. Look at that. You definitely need a tetanus shot if you cut yourself on that thing. <laughs> My gosh, hope you got your booster. 
And then some more Nurgly dudes. Oh, it looks like we got an aspiring champion here with some uh, lightning claws. Everybody's loving that my goodness, we're just gonna... Okay, here we go, we got a tank. And uh, I'm guessing salamanders. In this holy fire shalt thou be clean, is what it says there. Okay, we got some orcs. Orcs happen, guys. It's kind of like taxes. <laughs> oh, space elves! Ew! Yucky space elves! Okay, let's see what else we got here. Okay, we got some some more orcs, some piratey orcs. I like pirates. And uh, this is a new model category I'd never heard of, but apparently it's a big deal now. You got these old dudes with big eyes and inexplicably short statures. I'm not sure. You got some chick winking at you there. Yeah, this is a new thing in miniatures apparently. These old short dudes that look like they came out of a gumball machine. Okay, not sure what's going on there. It's getting progressively less interesting the further away we get from the giant space marine. That's when I was like, what the hell was that? Okay, you got a nice dude holding a book. Oh, check out the scythe on this guy. I like that. That's pretty cool. I'm not sure what's going on here. It's some kind of a wildebeest looking jabberwocky thing. And we got some Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome dudes here. One man enters, two men enter, one man leaves. Okay. Oh, check out the Death Dread. Now that is a sexy Death Dread. Look at that. Yep, I'm gonna have to call him the Affordable Health Care Act, part two. <laughs> Here we go. We got a salamander. And oh, check this out. This is interesting, guys. We got. A chick suspended in water. I believe that's ballistics gelatin of some kind. Okay. So many models. So little time. Okay, now we've got a... Uh, I don't know what this guy is, but he's sort of a mossy giant. The entry from... Our friend Adam from Greenleaf Terrain, he's in the historic category, is some kind of tank killer. It's a pretty awesome model. Gamers, look who it is, it's Sam Lenz, yeah! Alright, for those of you at home who aren't aware, this is the gentleman that made my demon prince that everyone is so excited about. This is the progenitor of Prince Thavian, ruler by right of might and righteous reciprocity. Hey, and if you want one, samsonminis.blogspot.com. That's right, that's right. Now we're going to take a look at his entries. Look right here, guys. And what is this now? Who is this Space Marine guy? Is that Angron or? It'll be Horace Looper call, my friend. Oh, is that the War Master? Sure is. Oh my gosh, he's my fave. Look at the detail on that. Sadly, we can't get around the, the glass very much, so it's just this one angle, but yeah, you can see he's got the claw of Horus, and he's got the beefy mace. No guns needed. Here we go, we got an ogre guy, right? Yep, yep. Just check out the tattoo work on this ogre. It looks like that thing's been in the sun for 20 years. He's been stuck on an island for a while. That's a Figone miniature. Sam, that's an amazing job, I gotta say. Now you got a little short dude here. Now what are these things called? I always forget. It's chibi. The chibi, chibi right. It's from Rivet Wars. Okay, awesome. Now you said you had another couple down here in the lower yeah. shelf, right? Right? Oh, right here. Oh, uh, right. Well, now we get it's another Figone piece here. Okay. And then uh, some Rackham miniatures there. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Very nice. And then down here you got a Dark Age thing you said? Yes I do. Some Dark Age militia. By Dark Age. <laughs> They're very spindly. Is that pretty typical of the miniatures in that line? Yeah, yeah. They have more of a realistic, real scale right. approach. Right. I embellish it though. I don't know. I like what their sculptors are doing. What's going on with this guy with the face? This oh, is that's by the famous Tom Ailes. Oh, wow. 
Greek hoplites. On a on a on a buried statue face. That is yeah, pretty that's awesome. Yeah, that's like a, a piece of a like a bird bath or something. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah, yeah. It's Found items and a saw. Yeah. Oh wow, that's yeah, amazing. I pay with that guy all the time. We try to have like weekly jams, so I'm always we're trying to split hairs and critique each other's stuff. Hey, yeah, peer review, man. Peer review, without doubt. Wait, no, Dude, did you see his tantalus down here? Oh, is that what this thing is? Now, I yeah. think one of my, this is a dark, uh, yeah, dark Eldar boat, right? Yeah. It's not the cover to a Yes album. It is, in fact, <laughs> a dark Eldar tantalus. Oh, man, look at yeah. that thing. All the riggings, man. Yeah. And we got the skulls up in the rigging. And man as machine. Well, that is time. That, yeah, that is well done. <laughs> you think he's got a chance at, uh, at taking the big one? I don't know. I wonder if they would if they would choose a vehicle. Um, I think he's got a chance. Now my understanding is they're doing some of the votes online. Is that is that right? Yep. Half of your score comes from the votes cast on Cool Money or Not, and then half is from the panel of judges. They have different judges every year. Um, it's usually Jen and someone else. Danielle. Okay. Man, so much talent in this one case. I could never yeah. paint like this. That's why I commission all my stuff. <laughs> oh man. Did I give you a card? Oh yes, yes. Right, I've cool. got I've definitely got your card. I, you and I will be having an orc conversation later on. Yes. Yes, the warp wide wah needs painting. Uh, I love orcs, man. Alright, well thanks for talking with us, Sam. Yeah. Okay, Warp Wide War Gamers, we're taking a look at the Golden Throne. We're gonna start at the bottom. I'm gonna slowly go up. There's a lot of detail here. I don't know if you can see it past the glare. But there we go. There's a dude there and that thing. I'm gonna go slowly up the side. I've got some guy, it's probably Sanguinius or something. Can't tell really. Let's go in the front here. Yep, so you got a little dude there. I guess that's probably a chick. It's hard to tell with these religious iconographies. Let's go down here a little bit. We got another another thing there. There's the Aquila. I'm guessing this is supposed to be the Golden Throne. And there's the Corpse Lord. Death to the False Emperor. And he got some cherubs. And looks like I don't know if you can tell, but he's got a bird in one hand and a butterfly on the other. There's a lot of detail right here on this top part. A lot of stuff going on here. That is a massively huge miniature. I don't even know if it justifies being called a miniature. It's kind of large. A lot of stuff going on on the side here. Look at that. So much awesomeness. What do you guys think? I think that's pretty well done. Leave a comment.